Hi everybody, I'm Pastor Bromley and this is my little girl. What's your name? We're shy for a minute. This is Hattie. And we are excited to tell you about a new project that we have going for the next couple of weeks at Union Church. These seeds that Hattie is showing you give a little bit of a hint because they look sort of like the source of our project. What kind of do they look like any sort of animals that you know? I don't know if you've seen any of these lately. It's been kind of cold outside, and if you don't have a lot of flowers in your garden, maybe you haven't seen this kind of bug. Those things that Hattie's holding are actually seeds that come from this tree in our backyard, but they remind us of something else. Maybe show them the um, black one and see if that helps them to know. This is a model of uh, something else that is part of our project. Do you see what that is? Any guesses what that is? What is that? This is a caterpillar. It's a caterpillar. Now this is actually a toy caterpillar and it is a little bit bigger than the caterpillars that we are going to be watching. So we got some caterpillars to come in the mail and they just arrived the other day. So we want to show them to you. Show them the jar. And turn it a little bit so you can see there are about five of them in there. And what what are some of the things that we see in there? Cause maybe, three of them are on the top. Yeah, three of them are up there on the roof. And maybe you can see them moving just a little bit. They're awake. This stuff down at the bottom is their... Oh, sorry, too loud in your ear. This stuff down at the bottom is their food, right? And you can see they're kind of eating it a little bit. Does you can smell it right because there's these holes up at the top for them to breathe. How does that smell, Hattie? I can't really smell it out here. Oh yeah, because we're outside. Well, anyway, it doesn't smell very good, no. but the caterpillars seem to like it. So uh, this is their food, and you can see what's this sort of stuff, Hattie? Can you tell me about what's what does it look like in there? That looks like poop. It looks like poop. Well, maybe. It also looks kind of a little bit like a spider web stuff, right? But are these spiders? No. Do caterpillars grow into spiders? No. No, they don't. But they do spin something else around themselves after a little while. What are they going to become? Do you know? What's the little house called? The cocoon. The cocoon, yeah, or the chrysalis. And uh, show us then what they'll, what they'll emerge from the um, chrysalis looking like. <gasps> That's right, a butterfly. So, now, and there's another one. Hattie made those. So, we are going to be watching these butterfly or these uh, caterpillars every day. So, they eat these things, all this food, and they do that for a couple weeks. And then they start to crawl up to the top. And they will start to build chrysalises around themselves. And they'll wait in there for a little bit of time. And then when they come out, and when they, when they go up there and they build a chrysalis, we'll move them to a bigger container, which we'll show you in maybe another video. But, uh, but they'll start to uh, come out eventually, and then they'll be butterflies, and we'll give them a couple days with some sugar water and make sure that it's warm enough, and then we'll release them into our wildflower garden. Hey, so, Mom. yeah. I know something. I know a faucet that. I know one of the faucets in the bathroom that's on the middle, floor, and it's more. Oh, so maybe that warm water would be good for the sugar water? Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be good because it can't be too cold. So we, I am doing this video because I am hoping that maybe you would like to do this butterfly project with us. So the butterflies are at our house, but or the caterpillars, I should say, at this point. They're at our house, but if you go to the Union Church Facebook page or you look for the Union Church Instagram account, we're going to post photos of these every day so we we can watch them and show us what you've got in your hands. Can you show everybody? This is a butterfly observation journal. And if you check uh, your email from me or if you write to me, you can get a copy of this journal. And let's look a little bit. So whose name is that? 
Jason. Hattie's name. So this is Hattie's journal. And uh, it shows on the front um, that the caterpillar started as an egg, and now it's a caterpillar. And what's coming next? A cocoon. The cocoon or the chrysalis. And inside, if you want, this is the sort of fun science part. Uh, there are cups, and so every day you can uh, draw what you see in the picture. Hattie did the first day, she did the food and some of the caterpillars here, and then she did the three that are up on the lid. You can also write down what you see if you like to write using words. So there's a whole bunch of other activities too and fun facts about butterflies. Now, do you have any idea why we talk about butterflies in church? No. No, because this is the first time, this isn't the first time that we've done butterflies in church. So we talk about butterflies in church because butterflies go through a big change, right? Now, when they first showed up, were they moving a whole lot? No. No, and we actually worried a little bit that they were dead, right? Yeah, even though uh, there's a, a little paper in there that says, don't worry, they're just, uh, they're just a little bit surprised because of their journey, but they'll warm up and start moving again. But so they, uh, they grow, and then one part of their life ends. Am I too loud in your ear? And then another part of their life begins. There, it's a new way of being and a new uh, way of living. And that is a part of the Easter story, too. Jesus lives his life with us or with the people, and he cares for them, and he teaches them, and he heals them. And then he dies, but then he changes, right? He comes back on Easter, and he has a whole new different kind of life with us, which is also very beautiful, just like the butterflies. So um, butterflies, mm-hmm. Only magic people can come to life. Only magic people can come to life. Well, Jesus has a special kind of magic. It's not exactly magic, but he has a special relationship with God, which gives him the power to come back after he had died. So anyway, we're going to be studying these butterflies together, and I hope that you will join us as we do that. So check your email, and you can print out one of these booklets if you would like to participate, and look back at our Facebook page or our Instagram regularly, and you can see uh, how our caterpillars are doing every day. Thank you for being with us today. You want to say bye? No. All right, well, I'll say bye for both of us. We'll see you soon. Yeah.